Hi everyone, thank you for watching. Yvonne Blasquez here. I want to be demonstrating the absolute best exercise for the self-scapularis. Now, this muscle is one of four muscles of the rotator cuff. The first being the teres minor and the infraspinatus. So those are two uh, small muscles that create external rotation. So, this way, turning out, right? So with the resistance, with the band, we work those two external rotators. Then there's the supraspinatus, which is underneath the, del the deltoid. That muscle is actually most responsible for the first 10 to 15 degrees of, sh of, uh, of shoulder abduction. After that, the deltoid takes over. So a lot of times, this muscle gets weak. Um, so, uh, and then there's the subscapularis, which is the internal rotator that actually creates internal rotation, but it also helps with, with uh, sh uh, stabilization of the shoulder, particularly uh, depression of the humeral head or stabilization of it. I've seen videos on YouTube and not many of them really, f here's the problem with internal rotation. The pec major is also an internal, an internal rotator. So a lot of times when you're trying to do an internal rotation like this, or you're doing it like this, you know, even with a towel on the inside, your pec major is going to contract just because of the way the resistance lines up and it actually, the, it's not so much of joint motion, it's also line of resistance can play a role. Because this is an isometric resistance pushing this way pulling you out, that's going to make your pec major contract. So you're really going to be working your pec major more than your subscapularis. What's the remedy? Right here, my friends. This is the best exercise for the subscapularis. Now again, when you work the rotator cuff, you don't want to use heavy weight. Uh, it, the rotator cuff best, is best trained with light weight anywhere from, depending on your, you know, your, your strength level and everything, you can start as little as one pound to as, as high as eight pounds. Um, and when you're training the subscapularis, that muscle tends to be relatively stronger just because we're, we're typically, we're internally rotated, uh, we're stronger in internal rotation typically than external rotation. But this exercise is important because it does help with, it is one of the rotator cuff muscles and a lot of times I forget to train it myself. But uh, let me just demonstrate this. So what we do here is, so first off, the shoulder is going to be abducted to 90 degrees. So right here is zero. If you come out, that's 90. Then when you roll into it, you're actually almost inhibiting the pec major because you're actually um, you're, you're shortening it even more, and it's just completely flaccid. In fact, when we do this exercise, you can palpate your pec major, and it's soft the whole time. Okay? So this here is really working that subscapularis, which is actually you can palpate it if you stick your fingers inside your armpit. You could feel like a little bit of a, like a little uh, something kind of push into your finger. You have to really kind of know what you're looking for. But basically, this exercise right here is the absolute best exercise for the subscapularis. You're getting lengthening right here. So you're lengthening a lot of those shortened uh, internal rotating structures. And then you're strengthening the subscapularis by internally rotating upwards like this. So 